CTIA explains the Internet of Things in this short Wireless 101 video. The Internet of Things are network-connected objects, systems, and devices that are monitored or controlled via the Internet. While we think of the Internet of Things as being more convenient for our lives, there are additional benefits for Americans, such as by reducing the time one spends looking for a parking spot, it cuts traffic by 10%. Smart grids can save 360 million metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions and up to $35 billion by 2020. Wireless water meters leak up to 7 billion gallons of water daily. By using wireless monitoring, we can stop at least 5% of those leaks. And remote patient monitoring will save more than $27 billion for North America by 2018. While America's wireless companies need both licensed and unlicensed spectrum, there are services when a licensed wireless network is needed, such as remote health monitoring. If your irregular heartbeat is being monitored by your doctor, your wireless connection has to be available and secure anywhere, anytime. In addition to the financial savings, remote health monitoring saves patients and their families countless hours of travel added convenience, and peace of mind. But there are also times when unlicensed spectrum can be used, such as remote water system monitoring in the city of Boston, which is the oldest water system in the country. By using wireless monitoring devices, Boston knows where leaks and problems are in the system as soon as they occur, before they become major issues for the city and its residents. Since the wireless monitoring devices are likely timed to send a signal every few minutes and are stationary, it is probably over an unlicensed spectrum connection such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The Internet of Things will require both licensed and unlicensed spectrum to meet our mobile-first lifestyle.